Alright, since we're out here on Vetterly Day, I have the Vetterly 187087-15, I think I got it right, which is a 10.5, it was converted to the 6.5 Carcano as an emergency weapon during World War I. Now, they tell you not to fire these, and I've seen these things come in in horrible condition to where this one ain't too bad and has a nice bore on it. I'll do a more in-depth video on this weapon, but they tell you not to shoot these with standard 6.5 ammo. The pressure's too hot. So a few people ask me, I have my cast bullet load, which is pretty much stepped down. It's not that powerful. And I took this gun out and tried to shoot it once before. And what happened was I couldn't get the extractor to go over the lip of the case. So when I took this apart recently, I tried getting the extractor out of the bolt and it was stuck in there and wouldn't move. And then I loosened it up a little and then when I tried to get back with it, it the bolt wouldn't close and it had to shift backwards. But I think I got it now and we'll try to put some rounds down range, just have a little fun with this interesting gun here. All right, that time it worked. Not exactly the smoothest action in the world. Maybe we gotta loosen it up a little. Ah, misfire. And another one. Alright. Looks like we might have a firing pin issue. Yeah, this ain't smooth. I don't know if the extractor's still acting up on me. Last one always stands up in that clip. There we go. Clip drops out. Like I said, not that terrible. That one don't want to go off. Alright, I'm going to go down and see where I'm shooting and maybe get a few more out of this. Alright, aiming normally high and slightly to the left. So we're going to tape them up, see if we can bring it down in there. Alright, as you've seen, we were shooting kind of to the left, about a foot and a half high. And these reduced loads usually lower the point of impact on a Carcano shooting high. So these sights must be regulated for three, four hundred meters or something. Uh, this action is about as rough as rough can get. I'm going to have to check the firing pin out and that. The extractor's working somewhat. It ain't frozen anymore. And I'm going to try to get on the paper. Yeah, this ain't gonna win no uh, points for the smoothest action on a rifle. Neither my spring is weak, 
I'm getting light strikes. May have to take the bolt out. Clean up that firing pin. Extraction's weird. Some of them strikes are good, some of them are light. See if we can get our light striker to go off again. Nope. Don't want to eject either. Ah, check this thing out. But the bolt does fit in there quite loosely, and the action is not smooth whatsoever. We'll go see if I got her down on the paper finally. So, even somewhere down here. We got this, not too shabby. The action's pretty rugged, uh, but it can shoot. So this proves you, with a reduced cast bullet load, you can shoot those guns. Um, you know, if you want to, if you have one with a nice bore in it. So there we go, an interesting piece of history. I'm going to work on it some more, try to get it to function better. You know, as I do more work with the Vetterlies. But there you go.